Okay, so I'm going to try and take you through how I set up my F-16. I'm using a Jetty DS-16 version 2, or generation 2. Um, so, I'll take you through this setup. There's a few things you have to actually do before you even get the radio out. But I'm going to go get my transmitter, and I'll be right back. And we'll begin, uh, and I'll show you how I set this thing up. I am using uh, flapper rounds and tailor rounds just to uh, um, because I want the flapper rounds uh, for slowing it down, and I also want tailor rounds so that I'm in a full flap so I can have landing flaps on this thing. Okay. All right, stay so, tuned. What are you doing? There's a few things you got to do first uh, before you even get to turning on the radio or any of that. So, the first thing you want to do is come in here and you take this elevator. This is the elevator that would normally plug in if you were just going to do a regular, a regular elevator. You got to take that out, don't plug that in, and you have to take your elevators off of this board. They're plugged in right, see if we can get a picture of that. They're plugged in right down there. There you go. And there's two there, and then they come out in that one. And then you have to plug, so to do flaperons and tailorons, you have to take your ailerons off of this board and your both of your elevators, and you set them up in, you know, you plug them in here, and then I'll show you how I split that up. That's the first thing you have to do. Um, so make sure you get that and make sure you have both your ailerons and your elevators um, unplugged uh, from that board and plug them into your receiver and then I can so go over the programming. Method. Here's how I did it. So when I set it up, I went in at first and I just went into basic properties and I set it up. Zero flaps, two ailerons and then elevator. So that's, that's the basic properties you want in there when you first start the model. So if we go out of this, go here, um, and then I went to my functions and assignments. And you'll see I have ailerons, elevators, all the typical stuff. And then I added in the elevator, the second elevator. So ailerons there, elevator, there's a second elevator, then there's my gyro mode master and game, and we'll, we'll get to that um, when I get to the, discuss the, um, the functions of my gyro. This is, I'm also using a jetty assist. So then on my servo assignment, I went throttles one, aileron one is two, aileron two is three, Elevator 1 is 4, gear is 5, rudder 6, elevator 2 is 7, and then there's the gyro mode, master, and game. Okay, and then um, everything is just set up uh, just right off the manual. So that's how I did that. So then I went into, um, I did, I went through um, and just programmed the model up. Um, I went into flight modes and I have a takeoff, a landing, and a normal flight mode. And you'll see. Flaps takeoff. There's my takeoff mode. Flaps landing. There's my landing. Flaps, ta flaps normal. Okay, so you need to set that up so that you have, and then you can put your, your, your flapperons and your tailorons on that mode switch. Um, so then, if you come down to, okay, so yeah, so then, I mean, that's how basically I, I set this up. Now, after I got my flight modes in, I went to elevator, and you'll see in, in my, I went to separate here, this was global, you want that to separate, and then you'll see my flight modes here. 
Flaps take off. I got 30% flaps for takeoff. Flaps landing. And I got 50% flaps for landing. Flaps take, flaps and normal. And I'll go over this. Once I go over the programming, I'll show you how it works in the airplane. So that's in your elevator. Then, to set up my, um, my flaps, I went to butterfly flaps. Uh, the only thing I do here is I go to separate, and then I go here, I put, I go to log max, and here you'll, you'll just go in here, and you'll use your logical switches, and you'll select log max. Um, so, that's how I did that, and now you've got, uh, you've got your flaps. And here's your flight modes. Flaps take off. So my ailerons are at 57%. Flaps landing. And then 112% to come down. Flap, and flaps act normal. As flaps. So that's how I did that. Then I came back out. Uh, once I had all of that done. And then I went into um, Device Explorer. Oh, I don't have my battery in. Let me get my battery in. Hold on one second. I'm going to put my battery in, then we'll so then you um, can come we'll into, into Device, device Explorer. Explorer. Now, I set it up getting, I got everything moving like this, you'll see. So I got everything moving regular before I tried all of my, and you'll see the other elevator and the ailerons are just working there. So once I got that done, I went back and did the elevator and all of that. So now, when you go in here and you go to you flaps, see my landing off. flaps, I still have a little bit of aileron, but I, you'll also see the, the, the tail. So you can see, sorry, I'm a little tight, but you can see how that works. Now when I go to full flaps, flaps landing. My ailerons are now not, they're just flaps, and my tail is tailerons. Flaps now, normal. The next part that was kind of difficult, well, it wasn't difficult, it was just I had to do the actual assist. So, how did I do that? Well, all I did was I set this up um, according, I went through the quick wizard, and then... Uh, when I went to channel assignment, you've already done your primary flight channels when you went through the wizard, so we don't need to do that. But in additional channels, you want to set your flight modes, and in here you'll flaps see... Flaps take have, off. There's two. Flaps landing. And there's three. Flaps take off. Flaps okay, normal. And then you also make sure you have a gyro off. So assist is off. Now it's on off and on. So you, that you have to set up in your channel assignment or your channel, your, your assignment. So you have to, that's where that uh, gain gyro mode, gyro gain, and gyro master. The gyro master is this switch right here. And you'll see now my gyro's off, now my gyro's on. Um, the flight mode is up here. Flaps take off. Flaps land. Flaps Sorry about flaps my dog level. is over here making noise. Okay, so there's your mode. And then the gain, what I did was I put the gain down here on P8. So you'll see I have a gain channel here. I can turn up the gain and I can turn down the gain with this. But that remember you have to you have to put that on in your when you set up your your gyro gain your master and your mode switch. So um, if you have any questions on this, it actually is really easy. You just have to set the whole plane up first, unplug out of the um, unplug out of your board. And then what you do is make sure your elevators are uh, your elevators and 
your ailerons are plugged into your receiver separately. So I'm using it, I think I'm using a 10 channel here. Um, and then you set up the radio. So if you do it that way, it should be pretty easy um, for you to set everything up. Um, and then let's go through and see how this all works. Okay, so in normal mode, my elevator, now I didn't do the throws yet, so it's not going to be that much throw, but everything just works normally. There's my rudder. Now in mode two, I've got, they come down, and I've got a little bit on the tailoron, and a little bit on the ailerons, and then in mode three, my ailerons don't work really at all. Now, when I turn my gyro on, I'm still getting some, uh, I'm still getting some play out of the aileron. And I'm gonna play around with that to see how best that works on approach. Um, I also haven't programmed any uh, mix in the elevator yet. Um, when the flap's going on, I'm gonna do that based on how she flies. So, if you have any questions on that, shoot me, I know that's a lot, um, shoot me a message and I can, I can, you know, help you if you need to. But, it's a very easy process. Set up the plane first, take your ailerons and elevator, plug them into your receiver, then you put, program the plane up just regular, with a regular elevator, go to elevator though, in the beginning, in the basic properties, but set it up just regular. Set it up as elevators, rudder, and ailerons. And then go back in and adjust your aileron differential and your flight modes. It's much easier. Uh, so, it, like I said, if you have any problems, shoot me a message if I can be of any assistance or if I can help you walk through it. It's really, really not that complicated, which is strange for Jetty because Jetty's usually pretty complicated. But um, everything's working. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned uh, for more build videos.